So what we're doing here is we're looking for the shows of the sand shrimp. You're gonna see it kind of like a little clam, a steamer clam, and they have the little things showing up, little holes in the sand. And we're looking at that and we're gonna use this. And it's kind of like a clam gun where you're gonna stick it down, but you don't have to stick it down that far. The main thing that, the function of this is you pull this and it's gonna suck them out. So even if they're like six inches under the gun, you're sucking them out of the hole. So, but the trick, you gotta pull real fast to get a lot of suction to pull them out. Otherwise, it'll take twice as long to find the shrimp. Well, we got our bait. We got a really good haul. Got a bunch of shrimp, look at that. And so we're gonna head to Westport and catch some bottom fish. Looking for the greenling. And by the way, you don't have to just come all the way out to Tokeland to get sand shrimp. They're great bait, everybody knows, for steelhead and salmon. And there are a lot of beaches on Puget Sound that have the sand shrimp on it. So out on the flats on Everett, you're looking for creek mouths that go into sound that have sand on the bottom. And so you can pump them out at a few places on Puget Sound. Howorth Park in Everett, they're at Picnic Point. And those are the ones that I go to when I'm fishing the sky or the northern rivers stocking up for the sturgeon or the steelhead. So we're gonna head out to Westport and see what we can do. Looking for some fish. From the boat basin, the jetty is about three miles away. The jetty itself is about a mile long, and although you could walk to the end of it, it's not advised due to the exposed position you'll be in. No bananas on the boat! First fish right off the bat. Little nice. guy? Not yeah, bad. Not bad. It'll fry up good. <laughs> Delicious. So we're off the jetty, and uh, it's a bit of a swell here, makes things interesting, trying to keep us where we need to be. We got our first one in short order, nice little sea bass, going to get some more. So we're drifting along the jetty, we've got a sea anchor out to slow down our drift. And uh, we're marking fish, but they're not in the biting mood right at the moment. We're at the tip of the jetty. It's uh, right about getting to be slack tied. And I just hooked into a nice fish. I don't think it's a ling, but it's a pretty good rock fish. Feels good. Yeah, here we go. There we go. So, it's been slow, there's no doubt. I mean, we've not seen a lot caught, and they're schooling, but they're not biting. But maybe this is a sign of things to come. Caught this guy on a, got a, white tube and then I put a piece of shrimp that Nate got this morning. Sorry, sorry night. <laughs> nice. What are you thinking little starfish? Maybe. First definitely, link. Definitely more more pull than the uh, black rock. No. It's another <laughs> big one. Look at that. What, I tell you what, these fish are getting to be. That's quality. Whoa. 
<laughs> Whoa! My line just broke. Wow. That's a nice big fish. Look that at that. That is a quality rockfish. I'll take that any day of the week. Ow! <laughs> Good one, Nate. He sure hit like it. I think it might be another starfish that can swim. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice fish. Boy, they grow them big here in Westport. It's nice. up for that. Man, you can't beat this weather though too. Look. Oh, that's beautiful. And the fish are now cooperating. Oh yeah. High tide, slack tide bite. So uh, Nate, we didn't uh, we didn't find the ling cod we were looking for. We sure found some rockfish though. We we found some nice sea bass. Got a few more where this came from. So you know, and it took a little while to dial in just just where they were. <laughs> we figured it out though. We got a good we, luck charm. Here. We did. We got a good luck charm, and you know, if you get a chance to come down to Westport, the jetty, you can walk it. Um, be careful, it is slippery and rocky, no paths, you've got to dig your way along, but uh, if you get out in a boat, you can pound the jetty from the boat. So uh, check it out, this is a great place to come and it's uh, really not too far from the greater Puget Sound area. Alright, thanks a lot Nate. Yeah.